Hello everyone, it's uh, Jiro Bro back with you another video and today what we're gonna be talking about are gonna be the customers within your Jira service management project. Now for the uh, introduction in Jira service management basically you have two types of users you have your agents who are actually the ones who are taking on the uh, uh, support requests and you have the customers actually basically users who are raising the request on the customer portal and when on that customer portal the request has been raised agents get notified about this and they actually get to work now the first and foremost thing when it comes to the customers you want to go to this section right here for the customers now you have the option to change the permissions and of course to add customers in here so first of all what you actually type in here is going to be the customer email and it's going to be the first thing and the second thing is to add the customers to the organization right so the organization that needs to be in here is going to be it's going to be well you can actually either choose or create an organization so that is um, that is the thing and when it comes to the organization so it we if we actually go to admin dot atlassian dot com and when we go in here you're gonna actually see that these are right here are your organizations okay so first you add the customer email and then you add the uh, organization you click on K and actually the customers get invited to this project once they get invited you will actually see their name appearing right here and this is a uh, another interesting actually thing when it comes to the customer permissions all right so first of all you have this channel access right here I will get back to this info panel right here so with the channel access you can control who can submit the request to this project so you have two types you have open and you have restricted now restricted is like only people directly invited to this project can submit requests that is actually the uh, first thing and the second thing is for the open so that means that anyone can submit a request to this project so what this actually means so there is this like problem saying like um, that I saw in the community that there was uh, an issue like when someone said I cannot um, I cannot submit a request to my project I cannot actually do that at all so that would be um, the very first thing and of course that actual user needs to be within the service desk customer project role because when you have a service desk project you have two project roles added to the project which is, which is of course the um, the service desk agent service desk team sorry and you have service desk customers now when it comes to when it comes to the service desk agents on your free plan you have you have the uh, free agents available and when it comes to the customers um, you I think you either have like five of them don't don't um, don't get that for granted uh, I will also post a uh, link in the description of this video for the pricing of Jira service management for for the agents now uh, what I wanted to say is currently the uh, customer uh, is not taking the license seat however Atlassian 
is updating their if I can say work and updating their plans and um, the customers they're gonna be um, they're gonna be built towards the Atlassian access product Atlassian access product is actually that extra product that you can add to your um, Jira instance it basically adds one layer of security extra security where you can use the identity identity providers where you can use the uh, insights when you can use those additional uh, tools within your settings for your organization now let's go back to the customers shall we so first of all we had the we had the roles I, I want to go for I want to go for permissions and the first thing is in here customer sharing so this is um, this is how to customers can find other customers to share info with others so what actually can be like customers can search for other customers within their organizations customers can search for other customers within their, their organization or manually enter the email address of other customers within their project and they can search for other customers within their project or organizations depending on the business requirements from your team and from your um, from the user you want to look which of these options want you want to use and there is this in, uh, interesting thing when it comes to the customer access because there was uh, this uh, request that like people who don't have the license Atlassian account at all that they, they can actually go and uh, raise a support ticket so a lot of uh, vendors at, on Atlassian marketplace are actually doing this for example uh, x-ray is doing this uh, and they're they're actually allowed that anyone without the uh, Atlassian account can actually go to uh, the support page and they can actually basically ask anything so this is this is it this is the option if you want to select that they can access and send requests from the portal without logging in so that is one of the things that you actually want to have and customers can create their own accounts by signing up or sending an email request right and then you have don't allow customers to create their own accounts well basically you actually want to leave this as it is right now okay then you have two types of customers in here like internal customers and external the internal ones are actually considered to be the customers who are who work and who are like synchronized with the approved domains now there is this extra uh, option that you can um, verify a domain based either like on the txt record or your dns record record where um where basically let's say what is a domain a domain would be something like i don't know you have a domain by uh, gmail.com you have a domain of google.com so all of those things are domains right and that whole portion with the HTTPS and everything that is the URL okay uh, yeah and you have to, to use the approved domains to grant internal users access to help with the Atlassian accounts that is actually another option so that basically summarizes everything when it comes to the customers and there is another thing that I want to mention for the customers there is actually interesting and that is this customer notifications right so the um, you want to leave these things you want to leave these things as they are right now the thing that you want to pay attention 
is in here. Now, what is this? Like when customer is invited, like when the request is being created. So when the when customers create request in the portal, or send an email to your email channel, your service project sends a confirmation that their request was received. Now, this is actually a good practice because you want to inform your customers that their request has been received and the, the, uh, the support team is working towards the resolving the issue. That's, that is actually totally fine. Now, now, of course, it really depends on the requirements from, uh, from your team and from your users, like on which notifications that they want to have maybe they're saying like you know what um i don't want to know uh when something uh, was like created or something like that i just want to know when it was being resolved nothing else okay and that's it then you go and say all right well then you toggle toggle off this request and basically that's it now also what it what you can actually do in here you can modify this template right here so you can modify this styling in here so you can actually do this and of course you can edit uh, notification templates if you upgrade it to the paid plan and unfortunately my premium trial is over so I uh, fortunately I cannot show you to to you guys that so that is the whole point of the customers in your Jira service management project that's it enjoy the weekend guys see ya